Wisconsin. The Dairy State. A political swing state with acres upon acres of farmland. But there is much more to Wisconsin than meets your eye. Wisconsin is a paranormal hotspot with location upon location infested with spirits. Some friendly, others not so much. I'm Matt Braxton, and my team of paranormal investigators have traveled the state in search of the paranormal, amassing groundbreaking evidence of spirits that roam this physical realm. Our unstaged evidence couldn't be more shocking, oh god, more terrifying, it's like a black figure or something. You're more awesome than what you are about to see. Welcome to the Blood Cemetery. This place has a weird backstory. The legend of the Blood Cemetery is that a man named Kelvin Blood hung himself in a tree. His grave was then placed below that tree out of respect. Supposedly, the tree is said to bleed, and if you touch it, Blood Spirit will curse you. As cool as this legend is, the cemetery explicitly states Blood's real backstory. He was a soldier and died as an old man, a war veteran, not of suicide. But people still report strange phenomena, and that's why we were there. We're gonna start this out just by using the EMF detector. Basically what this is, is it picks up energy, which spirits are said to give off. So let's just go see if this lights up at all. Now since this is private property, we can't cross this fence here, but we can get pretty darn close to it. Are there any spirits here with us? If there are, can you come up and light this up for me, please? All you have to do is stand next to it. I've heard a lot of stories about you. If you're here, can you give us a sign? We tried the EMF detector for a good while, not receiving any evidence. You want to try and take some pictures? Okay. This next piece of equipment is just a normal everyday camera, and this is going to hopefully show us some spirits. Spirits often show up on camera as orbs. Pictures taken during this daytime portion proved unsuccessful, so we decided to head to the second location. So, uh... We're going to split up tonight, actually. And Matthias is going to show you guys around the next location. So this next spot that we are right here is supposedly haunted by a troop of Boy Scouts. Now, the story varies a lot, as most stories do, and we see that in everywhere we go. But this one is interesting because it's either their troop leader murdered all these Boy Scouts or their bus driver murdered them all. Another story is that a kid dropped a lantern and killed everyone in a fire. There is another part of the story that this happened between the 1950s and the 1960s. Now that's a large span of time and the fact of the matter is if a bunch of Boy Scout troops were murdered, wouldn't that be a bigger deal? Wouldn't that be a solider date? Boy Scout Lane's multiple inconsistencies made it seem very unfactual and unbelievable. However, we still wanted to check for any chance that the land did house something paranormal. 
So we begin the daytime portion of the Boy Scout Lane investigation. So down here is where they think that the accident happened because this whole area here is private property. As you can tell by the smile you're on camera side. So I think this is, a, this is a, another really good spot that we're gonna have to check out. This is a audio recorder. So whenever we play this, we can, he well for one, we'll hear each other's talks. When we do it, we have to be quiet. Or if we're gonna make noise, you have to say you're making the noise. But you can also hear ghosts and other things speak through this, supposedly. It's weird that there's so many like rocks and things. Like I feel like they probably were trying to build a camp here. They did purchase this to build a campsite on, so. Or potentially it's some, um, because farmers, there's a lot of farmland around here. Farmers will like dig up rocks, obviously from, you know, tending the land and they'll yeah. throw them here. Yeah, well, I, wonder, I wonder how far they got building the actual campground because they were like, that was their plan. They just never did. So I wonder. I actually a lot of houses. I can see one red house right through yeah. there. I wonder. One white. And then there was obviously the one over there. I just wonder how far they got though. So I guess we'll just try to do a quick record. Ghost, if you want to communicate with us, now is a good time. Did anything happen here? Matthias listened back in the recording, capturing no EVPs. I think this is most likely, to me though, this is the most interesting location simply because the story behind it, the fact that it's all now private property and how many houses there are around here, even though we're like, we're in the middle of nowhere, but there's like so many houses. So we'll come back here then, later tonight. As the nighttime loomed over our two locations, we geared up and then split up. So I'm just pulling up to the cemetery. I'm all by myself. Uh, it looks very creepy. I can tell you that for free. Oh my goodness. I guess anywhere in the dark's freaky, but. Yeah, so Matthias and Taylor at the other location. I'm gonna grab the night vision camera and the equipment that I have and let's see what the deal here is. Um, yeah, it's definitely gonna be freaky here all by myself. Well, the lights are telling me to get out, so <laughs> here I go. Are you getting that? Yeah. Look at that. We just started recording and it's like, it's been spiking up a little bit. Yeah, it's, oh, it just stopped. Right as Taylor began filming, the EMF detector began to spike. Matthias is convinced that it was not his phone setting it off. The EMF yeah. detector is getting nothing. There must have been something by us when we were standing there. We were just standing there talking, like we were like going over the plan, <laughs> over what we we're gonna do, and then it just it just went off. Okay, so I have the night vision. God, we just got here, guys. Can you give me a little breather, breathing room? I'm like afraid to shut the car door to turn off the lights. Right. Oh, I caught something. Oh, I got something in that one. Okay, it was right above the grave. Weird. Not saying that these orbs are 100% paranormal, as they could be moisture or dust. However, it is eerie to see them hovering over the grave. Well, I think I got... <sighs> that might have easily been moisture, so you can't be too sure, but... I didn't see any in the air that time. You can always see it in the air, like when you... around the pictures. Alright, I think I'm done with taking these because it's too moist out like the air is just not good for <sighs> ghost hunting well i'm not seeing anything I yeah i don't think it's going doing on. anything it definitely was going on over there not receiving any more emf spikes matthias decides to turn on the spirit box so the spirit box essentially this is a radio that switches really quickly between frequencies and supposedly spirits can talk through it we've gotten great evidence with it in the past is there anyone who would like to communicate with us 
That was like, did you hear that? Yeah. Did that like a? Uh, yeah. This popping noise we have never heard from this device before. It isn't exactly paranormal, but it isn't normal. You guys saw Matthias use this before at Boy Scout Lane, um, so I'm gonna try using the EVP recorder to see if I can get Nico's voices here. Hello? That sounded like footsteps. Just then I captured the sound of footsteps, which I assumed was a deer or other animal. If this was an indoor location, this would have been fantastic evidence due to the perfect audio quality. However, the fact that it was outdoors and most likely a deer debunks this instance entirely. That sounded like footsteps. It could easily be an animal because there were a ton of them. If there's a spirit here, can you talk into this device? Do you have a message that you'd like to get through? Okay, that was like really close to me. Yeah, there's so many animals here. They're freaking me out, dude. All right. Okay, recording starting. I listened back to the audio recorder, not capturing any voices. So we're not, we're getting these little bits. We're getting these little bits, like right there. Yeah. Just then, Matthias and Taylor capture two voices. Can you make out what they're saying? So we're not, we're getting these little bits. We're getting these little bits, like right there. Yeah. We're getting these little bits, like right there. Yeah. Okay, so I'm adjusting the tripod and I think I just saw something behind the grave, but it, it might have just been like my eye. My eyes are just starting to adjust, but it looked like something black just went in front of the grave. You can't see it in the camera at all, that was sick. I hope, I hope that was just like my eyes messing with me. Um, if there's a spirit here, can you make an X? After seeing something black pass in front of a grave, which again could very well have been an animal, I tried a dowsing rod session. Well, the dowsing rods that I have are 100% copper. Um, you hold onto the handles and the rods themselves you don't touch. Um, and as you're holding them, they tend to point where the energy is. So if you ask a question, you will feel the energy flow. It's really hard to describe. Is there a spirit here? Please make an X if there is. After a good 20 minutes, I received no communication. If we see another car, like we're dipping. Like I, I <laughs> you give off a very creepy vibe. Like, mm -hmm. like you are not welcome here. You need to leave. <laughs> As Matthias jokes about how many times people living in the area bothered him and Taylor about filming there, he captures some communication. As he speaks, there is a male voice exclaiming something that we can't quite make out. Not welcome here. Not welcome here. There is also a female or child's voice clearly saying stop it. <laughs> Were they saying stop the spirit box or stop criticizing the residents? I don't think I caught anything. Um, so I didn't catch anything with the dowsing rods. I got like some orbs on the camera, but I don't know if they were just moisture or dust. I'm gonna walk over here with the EMF meter to see if maybe they can show themselves this this way. This is the last time I'm gonna bother you, all right? If you can, can you please come over here, make this thing light up? All you have to do is walk by it and it should light up. Can you make this move at all, please? I received absolutely nothing. If there were in fact spirits, they did not want to talk. Why are the people here so protective? <laughs> Matthias continues to capture a male voice. Could this be the spirit of a troop leader or something entirely different? I say we wait up. Whoa. I say we wait up. Whoa. Do you have it? Ooh, okay. Do you have any messages for us? Do you have it? Do you have Ooh, okay. Do you have any messages for us? Hopefully your camera can pick up the audio well enough. Audio well enough. I will not deny the creep factor. It was very creepy. <clears throat> Alright. 
So just from my short time being here, I know it wasn't very long, but I did not feel anything weird. I know I was definitely like freaking out, but that's just because it's dark cemetery and there are animals moving all around me. So it's like, whew. but yeah, I don't think we got anything here. Um, let's go see what Matthias and Taylor are up to. Hopefully they're getting some action because I'm not. <laughs> So, all right, let's head to Boy Scout Lane. Okay, I'm sure we got something. As I approached Matthias and Taylor, they told me about the communication they had, so I decided to try a dowsing rod session. If there's a spirit here, can you please make an X? Not receiving any communication again, I hand the rods to Taylor to see if a woman's touch could help. Indeed, the rods began to move for her, so we asked some hard-hitting questions. Did your troop leader kill you? Yes or no? X means yes. Um, all the way apart means no. It kind of looks like they're spreading right now, but it's like one. It only is okay. like only we've written like only one half. It's like. Oh, one. I feel them being pulled. Which way? Apart. Oh, yeah, they're being pulled apart. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I can't see them. Oh my God! Here. This left one. The left one's it, like. It it touched. And the right, the right one's apart, so like they okay. are... So I nobody, can, yeah. Nobody killed you. The spirit, assuming there was no human error, informed us that the legend's troop leader had nothing to do with the spirit's death. Was there a fire here? Oh my god. Yeah, there. Oh, wow. oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> the spirit then stated, again assuming there was no human error, that there was, in fact, no fire on the land. Can you please bring it back to the there. center? Oh, that one oh my god. Alright, keep it going. I'm shaking. <laughs> Thank you. Are you a good spirit? Yes or no? They look like they're just stuck. Yeah, they are literally stuck still. Oh, oh. So you're not a good spirit? Yeah, that's what Oh we're my doing. god. Are you a bad spirit? Cross them for yes. Nah, oh, they no. just hit. Could the energy have simply meant that it didn't have any ill intent? Not particularly good, but not bad. It was just there to communicate. Can you make an X if you're the one who killed the Boy Scout? What the f was that? Oh my god. That was, was that an animal? That was definitely an animal. I feel like a deer just ran into my fucking car. Just then, a noise startles us all. The Boy Scout. What the f That was scary. That sounded like... I don't, like a branch falling or something? Like it was thick. Yeah. We couldn't see an animal near us, but it most likely was one. I don't know if you guys caught anything here. We're obviously gonna have to look back, but I didn't get anything at the cemetery, so. We might have got something here, but we'll have yeah. to look back at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's right. definitely something on those dowsing rods. Okay, cutting. After a night of investigating and evidence review, our conclusion on the two Stevens Point locations was solid. The Blood Cemetery, our first location, had virtually no sign of paranormal activity. Yes, I captured orbs on the digital camera and footsteps on the infrared camera's audio. So I have the night vision. However, these two instances can easily be debunked. The orbs could very well be dust or moisture, and the footsteps were most likely a deer or other animal, as very similar noises occurred all throughout the night. Boy Scout Lane, on the other hand, had some compelling evidence. Many spirit box voices were captured, many unable to be determined, but clear voices nonetheless. So we're, not, we're getting these little bits. We're getting these little bits, like right there. Yeah. We also had a short interaction with the dowsing rods. Oh, oh. So you're not a good spirit? Yeah, that's what Oh we're my doing. god. And Matthias captured some spikes on the EMF detector, which strangely did not occur during the day. Was the story of the Boy Scouts being murdered true? Did your troop leader kill you? They okay. are. So I nobody, can, yeah. Nobody killed you. According to the rods, no. However, we did come into contact with some form of energy on the location. So you're not a good spirit? Yeah, that's what Oh we're my doing. god. Are you a bad spirit? Cross them for yes. Nah, oh, they no. just hit. What it was remains unknown. 